What's good, what's good, what is good, my stars? We're back in with another video, and today I'm in my mom's car, so you guys are kind of like right there instead of like back some, but it's okay, we're gonna make this work. <laughs> so today we have Annie Ann's, and I'm super excited about this because I had a coupon. So there's a coupon if you download the Annie Ann's app, and it says like if you buy um, their frozen hot chocolates, then you get a free plain pretzel or cinnamon and sugar pretzel. So I got a cinnamon and sugar pretzel, because I prefer that over their plain ones, only because I feel like their plain ones are still a tad greasy. Um, I'm super annoyed about the way that this man put the pretzel in the bag. He did not, he put it, like, he didn't put it in with the creases. So, like, it's this way instead of this way and flush with the bag. But it's okay, I'm just going to pull it out. Okay. So, like I said, this is not my car, so I'm going to try and keep it in the bag and um as mess free as possible so i parked in the mall parking lot and i parked where a lot of cars are so there's people like constantly like walking by driving by so this ought to be fun but um honestly my favorite thing to get at annie ann's is this frozen hot chocolate i love when it's in season because it actually tastes really good i wonder what is like how do you make a frozen hot chocolate is it just like your typical hot chocolate ingredients and then you put it in the blender with some ice or or what because it's like even chocolate more chocolate chocolatier more chocolatey i don't know either way there's more <laughs> it's a darker pigment than regular hot chocolate so i don't know if they like add chocolate or what but yeah so i low-key want to learn how to make my own But I'm excited because this is good. And I haven't had this since Thanksgiving. No. The day after Thanksgiving when I came here with my grandparents. And I convinced my grandparents to get me one. And so I'm super excited about it. Um, so I was brushing my teeth this morning. And I usually break this off. But I don't know if I'm going to make a mess in her car. We're going to attempt to break this off. Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that was a terrible mess. I just made a big old mess. It's okay, it's on my leg. Mm, it's not the freshest, but it's still good. So, I was brushing my teeth this morning. And you know like those commercials that are like, three out of four dentists recommend like the such and such toothpaste? Why would we get that toothpaste? Because... A dentist's whole purpose is to clean our teeth. So wouldn't they want our teeth to go bad? Oh, like, how does that work? Because, like, Colgate, isn't it on um, the Colgate thing that says, like, three out of four dentists recommend? So wouldn't they recommend something that doesn't work? Because then I was thinking about it further, and... There's, like, a bunch of different ways you can, like, whiten your teeth with, like, baking soda and, like, natural ingredients or, like, cocoa oil or coconut oil. So, I was, like, I don't know. The whole thing just seems sketchy. But at the same time, it's, like, the ones who don't, like, recommend anything, do those even work? I feel like they would because then they wouldn't be recommended because then they would get recommended, you know? See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, now it's a whole big, like, what if situation, you know? I'm trying so hard not to, like, you know, touch the steering wheel because my phone is balancing on her steering wheel cover. So one wrong move and you guys are, like, falling. <laughs> so I was also thinking about it and... What uh, videos do you guys want me to do for Sundays? Because school's starting up the day after Martin Luther King Day. Because I don't know what today is. But school's starting up soon. And because of COVID, we haven't, like, been going on adventures or anything. So should I do, like, story time? Should I... I don't know. Like, what do you guys want from me? You should let me know down in the comments below. You know, honestly... This could be like a new lip gloss thing. Hang on. Oh, yeah, see? That looks dope, right? 
or like it looks like those lip scrubs what is a lip scrub because i have no idea isn't it like when your lips are like super chopped and like dead skins on it so it takes that away because that would make sense you know what i don't get out of like all like the lip scrubs and like the facial stuff what is a hair mask what is that because wouldn't you just like wash your hair like i'm so confused what is that or is it like um like a sheet or like a bag that you like put all your hair in and then clip it to your hair and then sleep and then wash it out or like like what is it i'm so confused you know this isn't as fresh as i thought it would be so it's kind of disappointing but then again i didn't pay for the pretzel so you know you get what you get so I think after this video, I'm gonna kick my legs outside and then like brush off all the cinnamon and stuff. Cause I kind of made a mess. But oh well. So do you guys like this drink or what? Cause I feel like this tastes like the Starbucks uh, vanilla bean thing, except like just chocolate. Is it what? A vanilla bean frappuccino? I think so. I never know what my Starbucks order is because I always go to Coffee Bean instead. Mm. That's another thing. So a lot of people have been telling me that like what they do is they go to like Dutch Bros for one night, get hot chocolate, and then go to Starbucks the next night and then like compare. So maybe I should do that for a video. I don't know if like you guys would be down for that or what because I've only been to Dutch Bros twice. I didn't like the first time and the second time I got a lemonade instead of like a coffee thing so I liked it but yeah I could do that I do you guys chew ice cream I don't know what made me think of ice cream but do you guys chew ice cream so I have super like sensitive teeth see and um I can't chew ice cream and if like someone is like in my but like if I could watch them like chew ice or ice cream or something i get super uncomfortable and my teeth get like super cold so i can't do any of that it makes me like super squirmy to like watch people do that because my brother he'll literally chomp on ice and it oh it makes me so uncomfortable i feel like it just definitely like kills the vibe <laughs> i could be having a great time or like a good day and we'll be sitting around eating ice cream or you know a drink could have ice in it and he just starts chomping on ice and my entire vibe is just killed I'm done for that's it so i don't know it could just be like a me thing but at the same time like it makes me uneasy to know that there are people out there who could just chomp on ice what's your favorite part of the pretzel because my favorite part is the middle where they mix or like where they fold both sides of like the pretzel to like come together that's my favorite part i don't know why i feel like it's because it's usually it's supposed to be like the fluffiest part of the pretzel but i like it you know i was thinking about it and i feel like i would make my own pretzels had it not be for the dough because you know how you have to like let dough rise and sit to rise or whatever i feel like i get way too impatient because on my pinterest <laughs> there's a lot of uh recipes that is like you can make this and then save it for later when you're like in the mood but obviously i'm not going to take the time out of my day to make something if i'm not already in the mood for it does that make sense because like there's a recipe and it says if you make basically like a batch of cookies without like the egg or something and then freeze it and then you add the egg and you you take like a couple scoops out of your mixture and then add an egg to like a mug or something then you can have like a cookie you know within two minutes rather than the prep time too but like i'm not gonna take the time out of my day to prep something and then save it for later if i'm not gonna eat it you know i don't know that's just me but also i come from a family of six or like a household of six so like you know the single serving or like the two serving thing just doesn't doesn't work for me you know because i would never be just feeding like myself my mom's been like doing outings and stuff and yesterday my my dad took her to the mall and they told me they're going to the grocery store and i had just woken up and i'm not a morning person so i was like the grocery store yeah no i'm good but then they called me and they were like 
um, we're at the outlet mall, and I was so bummed, because, like, I don't know, I have a shopping problem, but, like, I wouldn't have shopped for anything, I just like walking around the mall, you know, so I honestly was, like, super close to just jumping in my car and meeting them at the mall, but I was like, no, it's okay, um, but yeah, she's been doing super good with, like, her outings and stuff, she, like, sits in her little, little wheelchair, and then my dad pushes her and stuff, but they have fun with it, so, as long as she's getting out, and, you know, not just sitting on the couch feeling helpless. Oh, but anyways, they never want to go to the mall. And then when they came home, they came home with Buffalo Wild Wings, and they bought my mom like a like a keychain that says her name on it. Mm, it's right here. But that's what it looks like. It's got her name on it. I thought that was cool. And she told me that the only reason why they bought it is because it had her name on it, but it was like spelled correctly. I was thinking about it. I'll never be able to find like something that has my name on it spelled correctly, or at least like my full first name. You know, not just like Gia. And my parents were talking about it because everyone in my house either has like a unique name or like a unique spelling of a common name. Does that make sense? So we're never able to like find um, like common stuff like that. So when we do, we always get super excited. Alright, I think I'm going to call this video to an end because I'm getting quite full and I still, like, need to eat dinner and stuff. Um, so if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below and tell me your thoughts on the toothpaste theory because, like, my mind is shook. I'm so confused right now. Um, also let me know what you guys want me to do for, like, Sunday videos. Oh, also let me know, like, when your guys' school, like, your next semester starts, basically. Because I know for college, at least for my college, we start like next week I think I don't know I don't know what today is so but yeah let me know down that in the comments below and maybe I'll do like another like school video basing for Sunday but yeah just let me know and uh be sure to smash the subscribe button down too while you're at it and toodles